there's only two conferences left and they're both the big and they're both big hitters too i'm excited playstation is not disappointed for a while what was the last what was the last playstation conference that disappointed it must have been like 2011 2012 one of those two Cause I can't really, can't really think of another one that disappointed since. I don't know the bingo board's showing. It's supposed to be a secret. There it goes. 2012. Why are you way up there? <laughs> what happened? What happened to the chat box? Why is it so small now? Oh, I know why it's so small. Let me fix this uh, to 50. Doing some on the fly editing here. Oop, where'd it go? I think you can lock that color. Let's lock it. It's because I modified something on a different scene that uses the same thing. There. Now it should work. 2012? Were they really... What they, would they show off in 2012? Was that when they showed off the PS4? No. No, 2013, I think, is when they first showed off the PS4. Oh, that's... That was the conference where they announced the price of the PS4 and everything just went... Nuts. Two thousand nine was good at the time of bad in hindsight. Modifying that. Alright, well let's look at the bingo board then. What What's up with all that empty space? I don't understand what's going on here. Oh well. Oop! <laughs> So, oh, bingo board disappeared. Bingo board. I keep on forgetting what direction it is. So, once again, like in every single thing, shadow drop, very top. A lot of 2009 never came out, but it was cool when we saw it. Mm. PSVR, anything that has to do with PSVR gets, gets it right there. Battle Royale, which surprisingly hasn't been that much of an issue. That's why that's different. Close enough. <laughs> Until Dawn Two, who knows? I haven't played the I haven't played the original Until Dawn. Maybe they make another one because I think it did pretty good. RE Two remake. Now, this is the I don't know if the Vita will get any love because I have nothing on the Vita on my uh, on my bingo board. P RE2 remake. Now, people, people, there's a giant rumor that apparently this is coming since it was like announced several years ago. It might be, it might finally be ready to be shown or something like that. I'm kind of glad I beat Resident Evil 2 now so I can actually watch this trailer. If it, if it does show up. Whether or not I play it really depends on how much different it is compared to the original Resident Evil 2. But seeing as how, seeing as how Resident Evil 2 came out in 98 and this is coming out probably either this year or next year, if it does show, I think that might be enough, enough, enough of a difference. Really depends. I mean, if it, if it doesn't come out, well, we would have to put it in whenever it comes out, if it doesn't come out soon. But like I said... There has to be enough of a difference, because apparently there's, what, like, some extra story added to the remake of Resident Evil, which is why I'm playing that again. I don't know what they could add story-wise to RE2, mostly because I don't know what the story is for RE, for the remainder of RE3 and whatever happens post that. Days Gone, they've already announced the release date, which is literally the exact same release date as everything else in February, which is, like, the 22nd. Spyro, now... Okay, Spyro's coming out in September. They're going to show it off. 
they have to show it off i want to see some good stuff i want to see some they showed mostly they showed mostly uh spiral one stuff during the reveal so if they can show like some spiral two stuff and spiral three stuff that'd be nice seems like that game is four months away from release is the same story but with extra story <laughs> Last of Us Part 2. This is this is Naughty Dog's ticket this year. Well, it might not come out this year. Maybe next year. Dreams is that 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 weird move game that they have. Where it's like you can control I don't really know how it is. But it's from Media Molecule who made Little Big Planet, so whatever. Shinmu 3, they showed that off a couple that was what, 2013 when they showed that off? And that was like a big surprise. It's been a while. Or was that 2014? still been a while so anything about Shenmue 3 anything new the best place to play Microsoft had the most powerful console ever PlayStation has the best place to play Death Stranding has to make an appearance probably will make an appearance but it's it's on them here I I I know this is not this is a, this is a pipe dream <laughs> this, is, this is this will not be announced 2015 oh 2015 2015 was that the was oh that must have been the big that must have been the big year with all the announcements why am i saying 2013 oh because i'm thinking of final fantasy 15 and the kingdom hearts 3 original announcement back in 2013 but, I, but if there's if they even mention tomba by name i don't care i'm gonna check it off it might it, it it might not be a new game it could just be like a reference or something I'm gonna mark it off. Price drop for the PS4. <laughs> I mean, Xbox One didn't get a price drop because they didn't reveal one. PlayStation Pro, they could. I would like it because I'd like to get a PlayStation Pro. <laughs> Black Ops 4. Yes, that's how they. That's that's four. They're gonna show it off because they usually show off Call of Duty during Sony's pro press conference. Except they don't have story, so I don't know what they're gonna show off unless they show off blackout which is their battle royale mode which would trigger the battle royale check mark as well only on ps4 and pc because they they're starting to put some games on both kojima appearance they'll probably show up if they do death stranding if not norman Reedus might show up oh the music stopped and i thought it was already ready red dead redemption 2 that comes out next that comes out october this year so yeah PS5 launch titles. It, it seems too early to start talking about the next generation, though. Even though that's not true. Because, I mean, what? Xbox 360 was 2005 to 2013. That's eight years. It's only been five. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, we did, but we got, like, the PS Pro and the Xbox One X. So, they're like, a, a mini step. Medieval. Oh, now I got the hiccups. Medieval. If that shows up, I hope they show some footage for it. Dark Souls or Bloodborne. If there's a sequel to either. Although, From Software already announced their game. Whether or not they have another game, that we'll, we'll see. Because they, 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 what, that, like, that Sekiro Shinobi game. Oh! It went completely black. That wasn't me that did that. What, what, oh! Remaster or remake, Spider-Man, Indie Montage, and uh, the Rock City game, which is rumored to be Superman. I'll turn this up. It's starting right now. It's starting four minutes early. I think this is dreams. Like we're starting off with dreams. Whatever those things are. Oh, it says you started. Yeah, there's like a pre-opening. Ha <laughs> ha! 
everyone in, everyone in their chat's going debated. They, we, I thought this was like the beginning of it. I thought this was gonna be like Dreams the game and was gonna show it off, and nope. It's just like the the preview before, after the preview, I guess. Oh, the, the bingo board's not on the board yet. There we go. I didn't have anything for Crash Bandicoot written down. So if they have anything for Crash Bandicoot, that'd be awesome. I would like it. What else could what else would they possibly show off? Would would they have DLC for God of War? I'm not sure. Is there a is there a development team that they have that hasn't like had any games recently? I'm excited. I want to see. I want to see some people's faces melted. <laughs> or a minute away. Why is there a banana with a guitar? Been playing the God of War games lately. Two one day. Ah. Oh. See, I remember I bought the original God of War before I even had a PlayStation Two. But I bought the I bought God of War two like or God of War one like. And the only reason I bought it is because I knew I, I wanted to play it, and then they and then shortly after I bought it they announced like the HD trilogy pack on the PlayStation three. So I own it, but I've never played it. There we go. Just like everything else I have, I own it but haven't played it. What a weird... Oh, they're standing room only? Good evening, everyone, and and welcome. And thank you for making the time tonight to, uh, to come to church. This, this fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday, for those of you who need to know that. <laughs> um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Why um, are they there, not on a stage? The congregation, as large as it is tonight, under this single tent. Um, and for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie Kingsman, <laughs> this, it, does, it doesn't end that way. It doesn't end that way. So, but Spoilers. again, thank you. Um, and as you can see from this evening, um, here again at PlayStation, we've decided to mix it up a little bit in the way that we're doing our E3 presentation this year. You know, we look at what the stories have we tell to tell and, and, and the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. And that changes our design, <laughs> design ideas around what we can do for this show. So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into some of the key titles we've talked about before, but we're going to talk about them in a different way tonight, a, a deeper way, so you can learn about what's going on with these games and what's coming up in the future. You know, when we look at here um, at Worldwide Studios with Inside Sony Interactive Entertainment, we really want to take our love for gaming and make it sing, and make it sing very loudly. Um, it's a gaming industry it's sometimes called, but certainly inside our studios, we see gaming as a vocation. It's a calling. It's what we do, it's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you and places they'd like to take you. That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we can deliver to you in a way that's going to blow your minds. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles to let you start that journey with us and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So without further ado, it is my great honor and my unique privilege to invite to the stage, introduce to you, Gustavo Santorea. This is a this is a very weird setup that they're doing. The audio is not great.
Do they still have the live band, but it's just off to the side? I think we're starting with Last of Us. It's weird that they have a lot of standing room. This is a very long conference. isn't Last of Us, I'd be very surprised at what it, I'd be very curious as to what it is. Oh, but I haven't finished The Last of Us yet. I don't care. I already saw the last trailer. He has it's the same one I have. <laughs> kind of. No, it's not. Why'd I say that? It's good. It's completely different. I wonder if they can hear the, like the added percussion and like string instruments in the background. Andrew W.K. But I feel like it's going on a little too long. All those lights hung up on the wall are just in this in the rafters are gonna be really annoying. Last one night I make a little run, the next little thing and I got a run. Went back home again. Crash Manicute. Sur surprise. Oh, well, that's why they have the entire church set up. Audio is weird. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved you get whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, but not quite the show. Get some rest. Yes, sir. 
You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Gross. How did they mocap that? <laughs> oh god. What a what a transition. Ooh, I think this was like that was like a flashback. Fucker. We're going straight into gameplay. Maybe this is the next day. Ugh. Man, those trees grow quick. It's probably what, like, thir like twenty-five to thirty years after society collapsed. Those are tall trees in the middle of the road. Well, maybe they're not in the middle of the road, but that vegetation is. Oh, but. Oh. Spread out. Had a lot more cover in the, in the grass. Well, you can have different kinds of arrow arrow tips. Someone had to have heard that, right? Got a wrench so you can build something now. How would, what? She was backlit. <laughs> Ugh. Wait, now check everywhere. Oh. Oh. Ow. But that had nothing to her health.
Like they would lose her that easily. <laughs> Watch yourself. We get there, tough Ellie. <laughs> Came through here. Double back. Go. You gotta alert them all. The gun's not silenced. Ugh. <laughs> Tough Ellie, it's funny though. <laughs> so this is supposedly set in Seattle. Ooh. She still has an arrow tip in her. Ugh. Oh, she has a... That was kind of cool. She can pull out the arrow tip if she taps R1. She has no ammo in her gun. Oh, the bar the bar was the bar was filling up as she had to she had to hold it down until she pulled it out. How convenient of the tall grass. She's gonna kick a can though, and it's gonna alert everyone. Oh no, free arrow. Explosive arrows. That's what she picked up. She picked up that grenade and now she just tied it to an arrow. Oh! All the arrows. <laughs> oh! Right in the head. Ugh. She made that personal. Now we go back to the dance. Stealth killed them all. Yeah, I, I feel like there were some points of that where she could have totally went stealthy, but for the purposes of the trailer, they had to show off the the combat. They didn't show off any stealth kills though, other than when they were just sneaking around originally. So the entire purpose they made this fake church hall is for Last of Us Two, and that was about it. <laughs> Thank you.
That was a new look now at where The Last of Us Part 2. We're here live in Los Angeles at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little bit more to share Oh, they're going later. to different rooms. I'm joined it's by my good friend, Ryan Clements. Hello, Mr. Schumann. How are you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be here at the PlayStation Showcase. This is... Uh, and it's going to be a huge This is diff. This is weird. A little later when the showcase Every resumes. single room they're going to be uh, going to is going to be deep after the game that they're, they're showing us about Worldwide Studios than the chairman of Worldwide Studios, Mr. Sean Layden. <laughs> Hello, Hello, sir. Yeah, good, good to be here. They're, we they're having a meeting in space. So we created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into you and shot right, right across to the studio here. Right yeah. over here. Well, it's yeah. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here. And I think so that was a very, uh, a very what else could they possibly have as an environment for this that would work? Right. There's much more to come, but I do want to zero in on The Last of Us Part Two yeah. here just for a moment. You know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very <laughs> Zero on The Last of Us Part Two is the only thing they've no shown so far. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where's their, where's their head at? I mean, they are they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of the Last of Us series. Oh, I hope I hope they go to the artist and homeworld, and that's when they show off Spyro. That would be awesome. Impactful. I mean, the whole relationship between Ellie and Dina going into the combat sequence. Ooh, really what if that, they um, have, like, all the, stops, the RPD the building? And they're going to have a very broad and... And that's when they reveal only, Resident Evil 2. You look at it as a player, but you're going to have to just think as a person what, 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 what you're coming up against. I can't wait to see more of that. That was first gameplay we saw there of The yeah. Last of Us Part 2. Looking I don't know, would this be the best incredible. show to attend? And speaking of incredible, I mean, worldwide... You'd have to constantly get out of your I mean, seat. Been They'd have to Horizon usher in over 200 War, people to a different, a different and room. And become human. I mean, what is the secret, and what are you doing over there at Worldwide Studios? Let's get one on. And, <laughs> and if they're going to go to this length to show off some no games, harm. they're obviously right. not going to show off <laughs> many. Because they're going to have very well, limited amounts of games to show off. They did say that they're focusing on games they've already announced and shown before. So... You know, Don't expect any new games, which is unfortunate, because you know, that's kind of what you want E3 to, to give you, as a, as, as an instead of and, and, and as, and as, a, as, as a game culture. Scene scene. But, um, that honestly, probably explains why there are so many people that have worldwide. standing room only. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control as possible, and just because help support them through to their vision. That's just kind of give a, just give them a little bit, last, uh, a little bit of uh, studios. I think right now, certainly the PS4, a couple seats for people that need seats coming into coming to play right now. That's great to hear that. And, uh, you know, I mean, speaking about making fans happy. But now you got to wait mean, for those people to get I into their place. there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot, and it has to do with God of War. You know, right. this is a celebrated game. It's sold extremely well. It has a, a huge legion of fans. And it is a nice one of the touch. I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets mm -hmm. about New Game Plus. Right. You know, is this right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. Uh, with the advent of social media, we got we get a lot of real time. But this is kind of like right, from the fans and the community, and we listen. I mean, to that. the immersion might be nice for them, the but for it's people it's that are watching the stream, this might be <laughs> like talk about eh, here, not talk about it all, but like it's flatlining a little we bit. All, all seriously, in terms of hype that came through really strong. Whatever's going on, that kind of feedback loop. Whereas Xbox was like today, the trailer, 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 trailer. Updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right, definitely. Someone, as someone who miraculously yeah, this is this is because that they're just going to go like. Sony's going happy. trailler. All right, let's move everyone. Okay. Trailer. <laughs> let's move everyone. Okay, thank God. <laughs> trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids, don't try this at home. Asleep. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, Sean. And it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing. It's been 20 minutes. And uh, uh, create uh, functionality and features that allow people to spend more time. They've only the shown one game. That's by definition a good thing. Excellent. Fantastic. So I, mean, I made a mention about Ubisoft that they showed only like. We'll have four games in 30 minutes, minutes and I was like, that seems too we have a lot more slow. To talk about too. Yeah, and actually, but I mean, Sean, I one of the games that showed off, the only game they showed off so far is uh, You did something a Last little bit out of the ordinary for our team, and you kind of came out... Which they still don't have a release date for. Games mm -hmm. that we would be I didn't see a date. Uh, tonight's PlayStation My bingo board's so barren! <laughs> well, you know, every year, we try to let the, the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year, we felt that um, what we really want to do is take people on a journey deep into the content, deep into the four big pillar games that we're working on right now, um, and get them to see a bit more about um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really wide range of, um, of uh, titles there, anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you just saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man. What and if Ghost. they... Uh, so, um, this year, I wanted people to know that... Trying, yeah, they are trying something new. ...to have some big... Flashy, 
new idea come out or, or some big surprise. I really, come out. I really like the sit with us and walk with us theater with the live orchestra. The, uh, the background stories and deep inside. But they had last year out. though, Wonderful. and the year and before that, they kind of had something from similar. Robot Studios games in the showcase mm -hmm. later tonight. Do you have like, any? I, I had a, I had a, games I had an idea. Like, what if they're, what if they're not changing the? They're not bringing people to a different room, but they're bringing the room to the people. Like they just move the walls out, put new walls in, and available in stores. And that's our favorite web slinger. Of course. Spider-Man. So we're going to see a lot of that tonight, and I think uh, the folks at home should be happy with what they're going to get. I wonder what they're going to do for Spider-Man or Death Sean, Stranding. Thank you so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure to trade notes with the chairman of Worldwide Studios. Great no, no, because this is station, yeah. right, this please, is an interview. Uh, and wear the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues. But in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during this short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. See, why did they do this? Don't have the, don't have the interview in it. Just do the, the trailer, 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 while they're transferring to a different place. Oh God, jungle! <laughs> Ooh, I remember these maps. What map is this? Oh god, slums. Oh, the targeting, the, the shooting range. Firing range, I was close enough. Yeah, I'll get this, I'll give this for Black Ops 4 because they're actually showing something off. Get immediate access to back in black maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 only when you pre order Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Oh, that's for 3? <laughs> They're having a Welcome map back. release for Black Ops 3. E3 showcase kicking off and just a Never mind, I take that back. That's Shapiro Black Ops We've 3. Got some good stuff to talk about. We've got some good friends as well. Yeah. Meredith Molinari and Ramon Russell. Welcome. Hi. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. Yeah, it's good to be Black back. Ops. Yeah. No, that was, they right said that was for three. Absolutely. You yeah. get those if you pre-order so four. I keep this moving here. And uh, when it comes <laughs> to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are making their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch. Wait, day. what? Oh. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those oh, classic you get? maps, are, are coming to Black Ops Three as well. Oh, so okay, I see. All right, so that, uh, I will mark that oh, off as Black Ops Four awesome. then. Um, but what if I don't own <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops Three? Well, that's where it gets a little more interesting, my friend. Oh. So tonight like we are actually Wait. doing a surprise PlayStation Plus game drop, and that is going to be Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three is coming to PlayStation Plus later tonight. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's very nice. This is why I love E Three because not that's only not a shadow drop. Awesome shadow drop for new our, games. Our audience, but. Play Otherwise, Xbox Division would have been on there, too, when they dropped it on a tasty treat. Right. Xbox yeah. Game Pass or Fallout 4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we've been sharing still, Black Ops 3 came out in what, 2015? Really cool announcements. Last week, we did our countdown, kind of ramping up for tonight's big showcase. So That's wait, right. I'm, I'm really confused E3, now. The maps are coming to three and updates and four? Five days. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights. They're coming to both. And it's not, and it's also not, they're giving away the game for free. It's it's just a price drop of whatever the price used to be, which, t Tetris effect. Day is gone. Okay, these are trailers that they've already released though. I don't think these count. I mean, it's not really a preview for maps if they were Black Ops. If they were Black Ops One and Two maps, remaps. Figure out what happened. Okay, wake up, focus. What is going on in this game? Twin Mirror. From the creators of Fee and Flipping Dead. Look like you've seen a ghost. Comes a heartfelt story in VR. But really, who are you? Oh, this is a recap of last year. I don't remember Beat Saber being at last year. They said this is a countdown to E3, so these must be games that they they uh, announced and released 
or at least release release dates for. Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really <laughs> <laughs> So let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we can see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. This show's about to continue. It's been, to, to move it's into been the almost event. 10 minutes yeah, since the last the countdown stuff, trailer. I think that there's like maybe one more thing we can sneak in there before we cut away to the showcase. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's, well, let's squeeze it in. Let's squeeze, <laughs> let's it, squeeze in. it in. Okay, so this next franchise boasts a huge loyal community of nearly 6 billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that. Oh, great. Now it lags. No, because this is the real show. Them going from scene to scene is the show. I left my window open and it totally it's totally raining outside. <laughs> and it died. Hold on. F5. I'm rebooting the chat too. Six billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that so much. A lot. They do. Yeah. <laughs> and then it died again. Sony is not doing great. Then again, the, the lag is not Sony's fault. I mean, it could be if, if, they're, if their side is causing issues. Because everyone is experiencing this. <laughs> it's, not, it's not live anymore! There's almost a quarter of a million people watching an offline screen. <laughs> that is, that's not good. Hold on. Buzz about that gambit mode coming up and get what is going on with the lighting in this scene? Ooh, not too bad. But not I, too bad. there's barely any time because we're about to get to the showcase. That's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to it from the rest of a PlayStation's E3 showcase. So they, they killed Thank PlayStation so stream. Watching. We've got a lot but Twitch more is like, oh, we tonight. still have our stream. Um, but wink, wink, hint, hint. For now. How many people are watching? I think it's almost time. Should yeah, we get to it? I think why keep people waiting? Let's Half a million so people are better. watching this. Okay. Yeah, got a lot more in store. Yeah. So let's check it out live right now. What do we just jump back to? What game is this? Oh, he's going into beatboxing mode. Bet I could play a pretty mean recorder. <laughs> I appreciate that Sony tried to do something different, but they... They must have wanted to tank hard, because how did they expect this to actually be something that people wanted to watch? Everyone's hype is jumping off a cliff. It doesn't help that they've done two songs and they're both going longer than two minutes. Like they had the Last of Us theme on the banjo for The Last of Us 2. And then they go into this and I, we don't even know what the game is yet. But they've apparently announced it before so I'm trying to look at what games are on this list.
What could possibly fit this? Shenmue? They went they went announce they went have Shenmue on like this big of a stage. Maybe this is the maybe this is the actual stage that they'll be presenting from here on out. Okay, so it's another first party title. Is this also Mike? Is this also Naughty Dog? No. What if it's from the people that did Last Guardian? Like it's the next game from Team Ico. Mongol Invasion Day 9. I thought they said they weren't showing off a new IP. Unless this is like Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> like a super hyper realistic Dynasty Warriors. Atsuna Grasslands. Atsuna. I said. I said. Uh, I. I mix up the S and T. Hmm. You know what would make this just come. You know, what would just make this like be like the biggest twist of them all. This is Death Stranding. What? <laughs> what if it is Death Stranding? I expect this to be a new IP, but I also expect there to be some sort of twist, because that's just what Sony does. kind of camera change for getting off a horse Surprise is Assassin's Creed. <laughs> what did you just chop off? Oh, that was his mask falling off. People are saying Ninja Gaiden. That's a pretty good guess. The, monk. the bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monk's a hero? We need him, Masako. So there's on that. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't own. That's no. that's Team Ninja. We can take them. No, remember Sako Bridge. We strike quietly. 
Yeah, they killed the monk. Just ripped out his throat. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. Time for some parkour. Open world samurai game sounds kind of cool, though. Yeah, people are starting to say Assassin's Creed now. Ooh, look at that highlight. But they don't own Assassin's Creed either. But it sounded like they just had an eagle cry there. I want to know the name of this, so I, I quit guessing incorrectly. We have to move. Ubisoft, but Ubisoft wouldn't give up their Assassin's Creed title. Oh, Masako! Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. The Mongols win. They already won. The clash there. You hear them coming? That's our enemy. Uh oh. Sucker punch? I forgot that they were making... Like they had a game announced like that. I don't even have that on the list. I think we're back to dreams. Unless this is... Something different. Yeah, that, that that totally that's totally dreams. Wait, this is made in dreams? The oldest house. 
life is a shifting place. There are rules and rituals. You can keep traveling deeper. I don't think this is... I don't think this was made in dreams. If this was... It's more than I thought it could do. What game is this? See, this is more like the conference stage I thought they would do. Unless it was supposed to start at 8.30 and everyone was confused. Control. Did they have like a brief moment where it like switched to a completely different camera? Hey, there's that Remedy game! That I had on the, that I had on the bingo board several, several shows ago. <laughs> oh, is it Knack 3? <laughs> Oh god, don't be Resident Evil. Oh, wait. There's a there's a pizza. There's a PlayStation controller. This might be Resident Evil. Well, I don't know what this thing is. People are saying it's Stuart Little. <laughs> uh oh. Stay back, sir. I got this. Officer, you need help? What are you doing? Get off. No. Get off of me. Sheriff's Department? Zombies? Is that a liquor? Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Money's in my account. Always pleasure. Attention, all citizens. Don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not. This was me like before he met up with Claire. Do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Survival's your responsibility. God. I, I didn't recall the single room yet. Oh, look, there's Sherry. Of course. Once again, the lip flaps are kind of eh. But we never meant for this to happen. Oh, God. It's that hallway where we first saw the liquor. There's a media room. There's Ada. It's coming back. January 25th. There's Mr. X. <laughs> RE2 Remake. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Where'd that come from? 
Okay, all the transitions need to be from dreams. From Squatch Games and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy, and we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy. I'm always in my bathtub, but, you know, that's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number for this in this re weird part of the galaxy. Because this is a sci-fi based thing. <laughs> Help! He's got electrocuted. Trover saves the universe. You know, I actually haven't seen Rick and Morty. Well, I've seen some. Not a lot, though. Like, maybe five minutes worth. <laughs> yeah. Now I feel like the Last of Us 2 thing was a completely different thing. Oh, Cam Watch! I can already tell this is Kingdom Hearts. Yo, I can already tell this is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, they Kingdom Hearts. Like for me. <laughs> yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts. Cause we get to be pirates again. Yep, you oh. always did like this. I didn't right? think I have to do this for two conferences. Still, it's a real Even shame after we don't have a bigger Sony, ship. Or, where it exists. Well, you know when it comes back. Unfortunately, I, once again in this situation, I'm not looking at the live things. Like I have to the the, the tiny delay between when you type this in and when I'll finally see it. But luckily, I can see like five percent of the right side. So as soon as it goes back to something else. some stuff. <laughs> Everyone, how's it going? <laughs> you have an organization? Yes. It's the blind man here. It's surprising, isn't it? Jack, don't you come back. Just creep the time of day. Oh, I don't want to see the chat either. I forgot the chat's right over there. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship. When said pirate. Shut up, I don't hear anything. Well, to be fair, I don't I really don't hear anything. <laughs> I don't know what they're showing off. Box. Get down. No, I gotta talk. I gotta keep on talking, otherwise the my ear, my headphones will will uh, give away what they're showing. I'm gonna just put it on my knee so it blocks the the. Yeah, no, I can't hear it. Good. <laughs> Show me something that isn't Kingdom Hearts, please. Collected enough screams and sadness from those children. Yeah, and the whole time they were trashing our company in the front end. You're following her. Maybe she's I will say it looks fantastic. Pure lights we need. How am I going to keep things from this a secret after it releases in January? Set your heart what if I? What if we get to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep when this game, when Kingdom Hearts three releases? Oh God. <laughs> your reward might be right around the corner. Hey Axel. We might be playing Birth by Sleep. When uh, when we start playing birth, when we, when Kingdom Hearts 3 releases, is this the same trailer that they showed at Microsoft? Since I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> okay, I see the word Square Enix on it. I think it's over. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> I just saw, I saw the PS4. That was it. I don't want to look. I'm not looking yet. Woo! 
Every single Kingdom Hearts thing? I might get that PS4 then. <laughs> well, yeah, different trailer, but it still showed stuff from games I haven't played yet. Hey, Death Stranding! But... Baby. The man who delivers. Did it say only on PS4? Alright. Tears. Chiral allergy. So. Hi, Norman. You have dooms like me. Your model looks a little better than it did before. I've got the extension factor. This looks like it's a sequel to what happened in the previous one they showed off. You can see them, right? At the Game Awards. No, but I can sense them. Wanna come work for me? Ooh. Must be tough out here on your own. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. Upside down rainbow. Nothing in this game is going to be normal, is it? Are we on a different planet? Oh, it was, a it was a different trailer. I see what you mean. So it looks like we get to create a character that probably defaults as Norman Reedus, but you might be able to switch it to a different character. Well, Norman Reedus is a character in it. Ugh. He's carrying a body. Robots that follow you around. I thought they were just following you on their own, but there's a there's a tether. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it activated a life preserver. I see this game less I understand. He didn't pull out a gun out of nowhere. Give me your hand in life. It's like he's getting extreme sunburn. I thought I have 
story to you on here. I already checked it off. This is the top left one. Near hand in death. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. The time for fast forwards, whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sound oh yeah, that would count. Tough. You're right. Sam, what's your status? Give me your hand in flash. Still increasing. My status is fucked. <laughs> There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a point out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. What, the baby allows you to see them? I'm so confused. I mean, everyone's confused. It seemed like it was gameplay. Of what? I'm not sure. If it has a release date. A crypto riot a day keeps the time fall away. You. You're too late. You still don't know who I am, do you? Who are you? Give me your hand in spirit. Still no release date. All right, I'm straight for Koei Tecmo now, huh? Remember when I said? Never mind. I take that back. No, that's yet to be seen. Can you pull that thing out of his forehead? Neo! Nio, Neo. I saw someone in the chat say Neo. I don't have that either. <laughs> Defy Death 2019. Oh, death defies you. They've had no one go on stage. This is what we wanted from the conference, not, not what they did for Last of Us. And then...
New York City, huh? East block, the raft. Ooh, this is Avengers. The raft is secure, but I can't reach them over radio. Or Marvel. Their comms must be down. What's your status? Already here. Spider Man! Yuri? I thought you said it was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Is that Electro or a Shocker? Is her name Yuri? It's kind of odd. <laughs> is it kind of awkward to yell out your name? Because the actor that's playing Spider-Man is Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Welcome to the park. Just in time for the fireworks. <laughs> oh no, the raft is the the raft is a superhuman prison. Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you. Okay? Please? Okay, kinda like I kinda like the HUD. Can you like knock a a cellmate into a cell and then we'll close the door. So even if you haven't defeated them, you can still lock them in. <laughs> Actual murder. Was co comment. Okay, so it's not a giant suit. It looks like there's a giant suit part, but it also looks like he fits in most of it too. Yeah, her name is Yuri. Prison with every criminal I put away in the last eight years. No biggie. Electro must be working for someone. Oh, Doc Ock. This is too good. Never mind, that's someone else. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was busy. So the Sinister Six? You should expect Doc Ock, I guess. And Craven. I don't know what the Sinister Six are, I just think those are people that were in it, I think. Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. See look at that look at his lip flaps. They're almost perfect. Maybe maybe like a millisecond delayed. I feel like it. You oh. tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you. Can't stop it. But I'm glad that you still try. Nobody ever takes me up on that offer. Back to gameplay. Okay, I got the security cameras back online. How's the book? Well, it looks like the entire population of the raft has escaped. That makes five of your worst enemies that are now on the loose. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were serious. I am serious. I have to go. Some of them are heading to the city. Vulture Sinister Six. I'm trying to remember. I'm going off of what. What was an amazing Spider-Man 2? Or like that, because they were kind of like teasing it then too, as well. Spidey's suit must be like electric resistant. Otherwise, he would have been like completely destroyed by now. Uh, 
How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Mr. Negative. Mr. Scorpion. Okay, maybe his suit's not electric resistant. You? Wait, who did he look at? Where'd that guy go? It's over. I'm sure that'd be oh, weird. Ellie. Okay, now we're back to this. They should be terrified of you. Is it over? You do not hesitate. That was an hour. What? They're showing stuff in this thing that they didn't even show off. They showed Destiny there for a brief moment. Unless this is just like a, a mid, like a mid recap. Everyone just as confused as I am. Wait, what? That was the PlayStation Ooh. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. There was a ton of great Worldwide Studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here. Coming that right was the shortest one yet! Live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here. Just a couple of minutes. We have a new game to announce. We have some other stuff to talk about, too. What a show. Ooh. Oh, my God. What a show! Yeah. Highlights, go. Oh. <laughs> go for There's no time. Go. Highlights? <laughs> they started at 8 o'clock. They spent like a half hour on The Last of Us. And like the last 40 minutes have just been other things. So if we don't count... If we don't count the... If, if we don't count The Last of Us 2 thing that they showed off at the beginning... Then it's it was only like forty minutes. That can't possibly be it. There's got to be something else. They didn't. Need, where was where was Spyro? <laughs> A crowd pleaser? I mean, it was, but it was a minute. They didn't really talk about it any more than that. They said there's another game left. Another new game. I mean, I know, I know, uh, 
far as I'm going to be coming to the Switch, too, so maybe at Nintendo's. But still! You feel like they should have at least shown that off at another one? If it's coming out this year. I don't think I don't think uh, Nintendo's is going to be an hour long. Cause they usually have a shorter one too, but hmm. <laughs> I'll just see what it's like tomorrow. Are they are they replaying that uh, trailer they showed up at Microsoft's conference? Or is this different? And live in the world where time stands still. This is a different game, isn't it? Where nobody can see what you're up to ever again. No, this is this, we're post conference now, but they said they were going to show up something else. So I just want to know what this is. It's new, I think. There are scene. Okay, the scene. That's the uh, there scene. Software's new title coming Ooh. to PlayStation VR. Quite a departure. Very artistic. Still don't know a ton about how it actually plays yet, but certainly. Yeah, why you say that until after the show? I would say. And speaking of compelling. Everyone's <laughs> saying it's <laughs> Despacito. <laughs> Just because it started with D. Well, I guess that's it. Their conference is done. They said it was done. So. Bingo board. We didn't get a bingo. We almost did. Had they announced Bloodborne or something. Or had they actually shown Spyro. They didn't even, they barely showed up. They didn't even show off Call of Duty. Hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't like that conference. They, uh, I mean, I, it was, it was, it got better when they moved into the other, the other auditorium and they just started going trailer after trailer after trailer. But the original conference air, hall that they were at in the church and then the giant intermission that they had in the middle kind of ruined it. And then they, and then it was short. <laughs> like Microsoft was about an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes. Ubisoft was about two hours or something like that. Fallout was over an hour. Or not Fallout, but that was over an hour. EA's was over an hour. This was... This would have been under an hour had they not had that intermission in there. Or this or the switch. So I don't know. I, I would rank this slightly better than EA's, but worse than Bethesda's. So that's still uh, the who where did I rank Ubisoft? Did I put Ubisoft before before Bethesda or did I put that after? I think I put it. I think I put it before Bethesda. I think I liked Ubisoft. Or maybe it, no, because I think I liked Bethesda's better because they actually showed off other things. So I think right now it's Microsoft, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Sony, EA.
to the point with no filler. Yeah. Well, we have tomorrow's Nintendo, and they've already said that they are going to show off at least Smash Brothers for the Switch. So, can't be disappointed about that. I wonder what else they're going to show off. Hopefully, it's a lot. <laughs> so, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.